Okay, and this is the final video for tonight. <laughs> oh, it's time for me to knock off. And it's just, I'm going to take you through some pictures that I prepared for an earlier, much simpler lecture. You might even have seen this lecture a year or two ago. So this is just a simpler way of looking at the shifts in consumption patterns. Okay, I'm just going to take you through these pictures. It's going to take about two minutes, I guess. So this is GDP per capita, 1800 to the year 2000 times 12, I think, in Sweden, very roughly. If there weren't any shifts in consumption patterns, we'd be like, we spent more or less everything on porridge, <laughs> according to this, in 1800. So in that case, we'd all be eating like 12 times more porridge today than we were then. That's obviously nonsense. We'd also be consuming 12 times more light today than we were then. That's also nonsense. Okay, we're consuming less than 12 times more porridge and a lot more than 12 times more light. How much more? Well, we'll get to that. But according to this picture, if the efficiency of light production is unchanged, the energy efficiency we're still using uh, wax or maybe even tallow then energy use will be, if light production is times 12, energy use would be times 12. That's no decoupling. But if we've got a big efficiency increase and light is times 12, well, then energy use would have like gone down hugely, right? Because actually the energy efficiency of an LED bulb compared to tallow is about a thousand times the, the energy efficiency increase. So in that case, energy use in the lighting sector would have gone down by a factor of 100. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Then we could really talk about decoupling, yeah? But in fact, light production has gone up by a factor of 7,000. Okay. Not 12, like overall GDP, but 7,000. So then, of course, given that efficiency has gone up by a thousand, energy use in the sector has gone up by seven, which is not that far off the GDP increase, yeah, which was 12. So you can see the way that energy use is roughly tracking GDP in the Swedish data. Okay, this is for the lighting sector. Why if light consum consumption has gone up by a factor of 7,000 per person. Why hasn't GDP gone up by 7,000 per person? It's because our consumption of other stuff that's important to us has hardly gone up at all, right? Or much, much less. Okay, and this is just some pictures to show you in a simpler way the kind of process that I showed you in a more complicated way before with a shift in consumption patterns. The sort of more subtle story is the shift between the immaterial and the material sectors and the change in the relative prices and so on. This, these pictures are just saying, look, one way or another, we must, through technological progress, have shifted our consumption patterns. So here we are in the base situation. Oh, let's start it from the top. Here's the base situation. We do some research and what happens? Productivity of this guy has doubled. So this guy working for a year can produce like two barrels of oil. The probability uh, productivity of these guys has also doubled so they can produce two cars and this all fits the data. But if it's the aggregate data, but not the product level observation, which is that cars have got hugely more efficient, so we shouldn't need all this oil, right? That would be more the product data, but now we don't fit the aggregate data, which shows that oil consumption has gone up. So how do we fit them both? We have to have shifts in patterns of consumption across products. So we have like porridge, and then we have porridge and train journeys, 
then we have porridge and train journeys and car journeys and then we have porridge train journeys car journeys and flights and finally we have porridge train car flights and space travel something okay as the global economy has grown consumers have chosen more energy intensive goods so that's a simpler way of describing the same process a more simplified way compared to the previous video okay and that's me done for tonight um, so you'll <laughs> hopefully that gives you enough to be getting on with it's uh, Thursday evening here no Wednesday evening so I'm gonna get these videos up tomorrow morning or Pedro will get them up Thursday morning the pollution videos will hopefully appear Friday morning so which should still give you plenty of time before the class next week okay thanks for listening so far